Hello, hello, party people. So you know what my content is to reference the previous video? The internet. That's what my content is. Um, for those that don't know, um, I know a couple of uh, Zolita songs. Well, maybe a few. Um, my personal favorite being uh, Single in September. A part of that trilogy that you guys may or may not remember. Uh, give a little background. Zolita is a... Um, I, I guess she's considered a pop artist and um, uh, she's openly lesbian and has material that is related to lesbians. Um, there is a short film called Queen of Hearts and I'm going to respond to it. Never seen this before. And uh, every once in a while I see if she has new videos so that's how I came across this. Um, uh, Alright, I, I, I guess here we go. So many choices on now we gotta add. joining us. I'm, I mean, I'm just excited. <laughs> You're a former winner. Can you remind me, what? where are you from? Uh, from Dallas, uh, Texas. Miss Montana, thank you for joining us. Do you think you're going to win the pageant? One can hope to win the pageant. But there's some really, really beautiful girls here. So Those I don't know, that's Solita. has just arrived at the Biltmore Resort, where she will once again be hosting our annual Miss Queen of Hearts pageant. This year, her daughter Olivia is set to compete. It's beautiful. Uh, just a special place in my heart. As you probably remember, I was crowned queen in 92. I'm excited for Olivia to step into that role and just be a role model for young women in Florida. Every year, you know, I've done my mom proud, I've done the pageant proud, and I've taken the win, so we'll see the competition. Oh my God, Olivia, you look amazing. Oh, Congresswoman, great politics. Putting Jesus back in Washington. You and Miss Florida have actually done some pageants years ago together. Is it nice to reunite? Yes, it's really, really nice to see her again. You have a lot to catch up on? So much to catch up on. You don't need my help to get sabotaged. Look at that. Nervous? Should I be? I mean, you tell me. I feel like it's been a while. One of my songs gonna blow your rip and dance out of the water. Oh yeah? Finally, some competition. Well, lucky for you, I still dread Q and A after all these years. And I don't get that. I feel like all you have to do is lie. That's always been your specialty, not mine. Oh shit. Good luck. Damn. Thanks, but I don't need it. It's a burn. Girls, do you think they're any front runners? I've got my eye on one. Yeah, something. Should be Every year could be you. Every year could be you. I am Miss South Carolina from the Palmetto State, and this is a Lego VW Bug. Legos take around about 10 years to digest. Don't pop them like peels. I don't. Um, not anymore. Let me see if I can get this off. That's embarrassing. This is my talent. Here are some things that are for the girls, not the guys. Furniture. Because why should you be comfortable? 
Hey there, everybody. It's Erica from the Homestead, Miss Nebraska. Do I have any contenders in our lovely audience tonight? I'm just a little dainty thing up here all by my lonesome. Oh my gosh, you look absolutely perfect. Get up here, cowboy. Now watch your hip. You just get comfortable. Let me just fuel up real quick. So blatant. My goodness sakes, I think we have a winner. Well, I started the Queen of Hearts pageant what, more than 20 years ago in memory of the love of my life, Barbara. Well, kind of a slay, you know, it's transformed into something so much larger. Hold on, do any of you have a judge yet? My phone's going to die. Oh, here's one thing. Celine, this Queen of Hearts, so it's going to be incredibly good for me. I, I don't know how I got asked to be a judge. Um, I was on my 10. Uh, I, I managed a Starbucks down the street, and she came in and she asked me if I was gay. Uh, I am, yes. And then she asked me if I wanted to be a judge. And she gave me this clipboard. You destroy every room you light up. And you blame everyone that you love Only way to kill the pains is self-destruct Sitting back with a match Wondering why it's burning up Up next, Miss Montana Lately, It's actually pretty good Ah oh, shit, man, this is why we can't afford shit. pretty good so far so it's definitely not what I was expecting room service hi hi what are you doing here you practically begged me to help you pay for Q&A did I how about this I'll ask the questions and you answer question number one Miss Montana, do you think you're better than me? I'm not answering that. Fine, I'll reword the question. Why do you think you deserve the crown when you never even placed in the junior pageant? Do you really think you have what it takes to go up against Miss America's silly legacy doll? I think that's exactly why I should win. Despite growing up in a small town with no queer role models, I still figured my shit out. I think our audience will relate to that a lot more than the washed up party girl who's been handed everything she's ever wanted. Mm. Don't you? Wow, good answer. Person. Why are you really here, Olivia? You seem desperate for my assistance, so... Starting to think you're threatened by me. Not at all. So when is this gonna happen? When is this gonna happen? We should talk. Oh, 
Oh. 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 Engaging in special treatment with the judges to win them over? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I've gotten like 35 new Instagram followers and I'm blowing up. Uh, I get uh, lots of DMs, um, but they never get seen that. I heard that free girls were like making out in the closets. I was like, why do you text me? You heard that? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, you know what? Uh, I've been around the block myself and uh, hands will roam, but. Uh, I know as long as it's in a very Christian manner, I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, if you're talking about sin, well, sin is not in. Never has been and never will be. So, um, next question. Well, hey there, sweet pea. Uh, hey, can I show you something really quick? I just want to ask you a question. Is that okay? Um, yeah. yeah, we'll be long. Okay, just one sure. Hey, you just got a couple flyaways. Here, let me help you out. Thanks. Yeah. See, all better. I bet your mother's donors would love to see that, huh? Mm. Are you blackmailing me? Drop out of the pageant right now. Or I'm posting this on muckchat.com and sending an email blast to the entire Queen of Hearts pageant. What a bitch. Hey. We should have done that. We should have done that. She's gonna keep lying for the rest of your life. I'm not like you. What? It's not the response. Yeah, not the response I was expecting. Well, now the potential Miss Queen of Hearts are about to use their smarts. Here's the Q&A. Up first, Miss Nebraska. Vermont recently became the fourth state to legalize same-sex marriage. Do you think the rest of the states should follow suit? Talk about Ben and Jerry. Uh, well, I always said if God believed in the gays, you wouldn't let the wise men wear burlap. Ugh, weed in the, the fuck? A hard no from me. Wow. Thank you. Ms. Utah, do you think our country is doing enough to solve climate change? Yes. Short but sweet, right? Miss South Carolina. Recently, the National Geographic survey showed that 60% of American college students have trouble identifying their country and home state on a map. Why do you think that is? I personally think it's because most U.S. citizen Americans of the United States don't have access to or seen or know about maps in general, and some can't even access maps on their iPhone or Android. Describe your perfect date. April 25th, because it's not too hot, it's not too cold. All you really need is a light jacket. Miss Montana! Oh, you want most in the world? I don't think the microphone is working. Can I have sound up here? Oh, sorry, it's um, it's working again. I would like to use this platform to be an authentic role model for young girls and follow my mom's legacy, oh. advocating for women. Well, that concludes the Q&A. What a beautiful, brilliant group of girls. Judges will now enter deliberation, where the finalists will shortly be announced. The walkwear. No. Oh, no, she had like a waddle. I can tell she's mean to her mom. These lips are red, and I love a red lip. Like, I love a red lip. Do you think your daughter has any competition? Pretty <laughs> good. Who do you think will win then? Miss Florida, because it's great. Celebrate love with 1-800-Flowers.com. Here's your girl. 11 years old when we met. I had to point that out because, you know, some people don't know that was... You look really beautiful. So do you. She has got talent! She has got talent! Here are 
warrior Miss Queen of Hearts finalist. Miss Montana loves to play guitar, piano, and anything else that involves nipple fingers. Miss Florida runs the Boys and Girls Chastity Club of America. Miss Nebraska can bench 280 pounds and is president of the Clay and 200, Club. 280 pounds? That's almost two of me. There's more than two of me. For content in this little van. Describe your perfect date. April 25th. Because it's not too hot, it's not too cold. All you really need is a light jacket. Here are some things that are for the girls, not the guys. Furniture. Because why should you be comfortable? And what are you most known for? My really big booty. Do you think you'll win the pageant? Of course I think I'll win the pageant. Have you seen these other girls? <laughs> <coughs> Outtakes. I've been pining over her for years, and I have too, but I wouldn't have been able to be open like her with anyone else. Would you call this a U-Haul? Uh, I think it's U-Haul time. I think it is U-Haul time. Yeah? Yeah. You're related. No, we're not. No, no relation. 60% of American college students have trouble identifying their country and home state on a map. Why do you think that is? Most U.S. citizen Americans don't have access to or see or know about maps in general. Easy to stay focused and keep your head in the game? It's a little hard when there's so many beautiful women around. Ollie and Anna seem so perfect. What people didn't know was she was screaming for help. All right, guys. Um... I I I enjoyed it. It was it was there were some funny parts. Um, uh, just little things I noticed that I might have done a little differently. Um, the, like like if I was in the video, no, I'm like like from a from a producer director standpoint. Um, I don't know. It's it's, it's hard to explain. People, you, you're not gonna see the vision that I envisioned for like you know like like major short films. Um, okay, well, uh, I guess that's that, um, thanks for, uh, watching with me here, um, yeah, Zolita is, um, I don't know a lot of her old stuff, but, um, she's, she's been around for a decent amount of time, and, uh, you know, I think, um, she's in her early 20s or something, and everyone remembers the trilogy with that, that other, the woman who was a, a YouTube star, I think, and, um, I think she was a model as well, um, uh, but there were rumors whether they were going out or whatever. Like, of course there's gonna be, because, like, you're in three different music videos and you guys are interacting with each other. But, you know, people people will imagine what they want to imagine. Um, Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Take care of yourselves and each other.